G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19. We're about to continue the Eclipse series into episode 62. We're coming up to the final week, we've got one more horde to go, and then it is the final countdown, like a bloody Europe song, into the end of the series. But today, I'm not thinking about the end of the series, I'm more concerned... I've just kind of had like a, a thought about my base downstairs. I reckon there's probably some upgrades I can do to it for the next haul. Because I've got to have Demolisher showing up. My game stage is now uh, 152. And I think 150 is the threshold to have demos start showing up at your base. So I think I need to make some modifications if I have any chance of making it to that final week. So that's all cooking away. Still making myself a whole bunch of ammo. But what I want to do. God, really coming in hot today. We're piped up. We're ready. We're full of the beans, full of the vinegars. What we need to do, we need to grab you real quick and swap out the... That one, Ironbreaker mod, and bang into this little slice of pie. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, might even grab you real quick to repair... Ah, oh, repair both of you. Why not? Grab some gas, because what I need to do is duck on downstairs and quickly knock out three of those annoyingly steel wedge tips that I've got down there. The ones on the... Oh God, I can't see. The ones on the bottom are the ones that need to go because we've been having a whole lot of issues lately with, like, the spiders and stuff, like, sticking through and being unable to be killed. So if I just flip those around, that should be an easier way to do it. I was going to wait till after the horde when the zombies have done some damage to just take advantage of them doing the damage, but I feel like I'll be better off if I get on top of it now and just fix it right and foremost. That's one almost done. Oh, it goes down to concrete as well. We're going to be here a while. That's why I want to do the first thing in the morning. There's other things I wanted to do today, but I guess I'm just going to sit here and burn some dinosaurs and slowly but surely break down these blocks. God, where are the zombies when you need them? They come over with their automatic sledgehammer hands and tear through these things like it's made out of wet confetti. But now I want to get it out of the way and you make... Why can't it be a, 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 it's in my land claim block, so clearly it's my bloody block. Let me break it easier. I tell you what, thank God for the T6 org and making relatively light work of that. That could have been a really bloody bad time. I didn't bring the stuff to replace it though, which is rather silly. Did I leave any rebar frames in here? I did not. That's right though. I'll duck back upstairs and grab some more of those before I forget though. Grab you, modify, swap out that one for that one. I don't take the auger on raids. I know that a lot of people do and like kind of, you know, does all three of those jobs all in one. But because it is so valuable and really only good at one particular thing, like I'm going to use an auger to beat through a door, for example, or open a safe or into that kind of a dick baggery. So instead, I'd rather use my actual normal loadout. My loadout is set out the way it is and it always has been. So I'm kind of used to how that rolls. Let's uh, jump back upstairs and grab my, um, that's some really high skips there, uh, grab my stuff to replace those blocks with if you could jump onto the ladder. And then I want to go raiding. I'm not really sure where I want to go today. I might even go down to that, um, remember that farm that had like the nuclear silos built into the cornfields? I might head down there and have a cheeky little squiz through whatever installation they've built for themselves over there. But also kind of want to like... See what's going on over this way. I've done a little bit. Like, that's where I went over to the cave a long time ago. So I kind of want to see what else is out there. There could be whole new towns I've just never bloody seen. Right, so just the uh, wedge tips as always. That's the way I did have it. So let's go this way that time. It should still work just the same as before. Like, I've got the bar there to keep them out. The bar uh, blocks up the top. But really, all this is going to do is just give me a slightly, or actually a much better line of sight to all the Jeffs that are standing outside. So when a spider boy comes up and he's dawdling down the bottom there, rather than having his head protected by clipping through a steel block, it'll be sitting nice on top like a cherry on top of that delicious slice of pavlova. Put you guys back away. I'm going to leave some rebar frames down here because that's all the place I really need them anymore. Take my tools back. I'm well fed, I'm well thirsted, I'm well good. All right, I think I'm pretty good to go. Let's go jump into Gyrocopter and go on a bit of a cheeky adventure. Then go find that nuke farm and see what's going on. So I've been up through there. There is like the towns all the way out past Gen as well, all the way out that way. There's definitely still lots more places for me to go and investigate. Who knows what I might stumble across here, there, or anywhere. A little pile of green in the middle, that's fine. But I'm going to head out over to the west. It's kind of the only area of the map that I haven't really investigated very much. I've been, I've been every man, man. You could sing a bloody song about all the destinations that I have had a cheeky little gander through. 
Our world level two is on this mountain range. It's like bloody Monument Park out here. It's definitely guarding something good. I just want to know what's waiting for me on the other side. If it's the ocean, it's the ocean. If it's a cool new town, it's a cool new town. I'm open to any possibility. Oh, there's a derpo just there. Oh, that was what I was looking for so long ago. I might quickly just go like this. Go like that one there. Save waypoint. Go derpo for a rainy day. I still need to go through and remove some of the waypoints for the derpos I have got. So like the one in the lake that I submarine down to go get. Need to remove that from my map. But I'll do that another time, I suppose. Not really a pressing issue right now. What's out here? There's lots of POIs in really cool positions. Like the POIs at the houses and stuff on top of the cliffs. That'd be a sick place for a base. It was slightly closer to somewhere to go raiding. It'd be even better, rah, rah. But like, I can't bother riding from there all the way back into town again. It took me eight years to find my way out of this ravine the first time around. Why would I live out here and do that every day? There's like this really cool volcano out here too. Like with like a whole caldera at the bottom. Someone's built a, some sort of POI down here. But like that whole thing there, that looks wicked. I really like that. Um, but more importantly, on the other side of that is a whole, well, little town, I suppose. Not quite as big as some of the cities that I've dabbled in here and there. What kind of POIs we're looking at in with that? We've got a motel, we've got an Isaiah, a couple of random little houses as well. Nothing really tickling my jibbles to get me excited about it. Just some regular small buildings, I suppose. I might just skip over that one. Ooh, there's a winter town out there, though. Oh, but I hate the winter town. I hate the fog. I hate the snow. I hate the mountain lions and the yetis. Nah. Nah, you can stay out there. Um, oh, wait. It looks like on the other side of these, uh, this next mountain range is the ocean. You kind of see it on the side of the screen there where your vision cone extends a little bit. So it turns out the mountain range went all the way to the ocean. All right, fair enough. Let's just turn south and keep on exploring. Let's just figure out what's actually out here. Doesn't look like there's going to be any really big towns out this side of the, the whole world, really. I'll fly around this little crater down here and start heading back over to the east where I know there are some buildings. It's kind of like tundra, not really tundra, I suppose. Just like wilderness. Just mountain ranges and like nice big forests and stuff. A couple of nuke craters. But that's where the towns used to be. There's a road heading straight to the middle of it. So that's where some of the bombs dropped to try and eradicate the zombies. And all they really did is just blow them into different parts of the world and make it so much worse. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. All right, I'm heading east. I'm heading back over the mountains again and going back to where I know there are things to be raided. It was a nice try. It was a good idea. But like most of the things I tried, just didn't quite pan out in the end. Oh, hold the phone though. Look at the sprawl on that bad boy. That is a town and a half. That's the city that I thought I would find. Just like when they knew there was going to be land down under. They called it like Terror Australis or some shit. Like the mysterious southern land. Just like they knew that was going to be there to balance out the rest of the planet. Does that make sense? I Oh my god, look how big this city is though. Jesus Christ, this place is a bloody place. Enough. There's a space needle over there. I can move house if I wanted to. So it kind of connects back up to like the other part of the town I've been to over that way, which is interesting to know. So it just kind of keeps sprawling out. Nice. Okay. Well, what kind of POIs we we'll have to deal with on this one? We've got some factories, some random houses and things. There's probably some good gubbins down there to be gotten. Good to know. Okay. Well, I'm just going to fly over for the moment and head back to where I wanted to go. I want to go raid the nuke farm. I have it marked with my little quick waypoint up there. And a trade, no, that's not a trade, that's an oil uh, refinery. All right, fair enough. Wasn't looking for more traders as well. More people to sell some gubs to. Making a steep bank down just to land right next to the nuke farm down here. It's in the desert biome again, which sucks. I'm sick of sweating myself to death. Just like oozing ooze out of all of my pores and sweat glands and all sorts of yuckness, whatever. Just stay there, that'll be fine. I don't know how big this place is going to be. I do actually, you know what? I do have the loot and candy on me. So let's just take like some of you, lock that to nine. Let's well, quickly go as we usually do, smack a tree in some of its bark and take some woods, go make a box for myself. That'll do, almost broken. You know, so I'll leave you there. I'll leave you there with 13 HP, just to like, you know, be a warning to the future generations. Just like throw a big limb on the ground for me to craft a box out of and everything will be okay. Don't have to worry about it. Craft you, throw the one away. Now I'm just wasting some of the resources I took from that unsuspecting tree. There you go, nice. Where do you think the way in is gonna be? I know I came in through the fence the other day into like <laughs> the landmines and all sorts of bad times where the snaky boy tried to eat me. So I might just have a quick little um traipse around the outside. You know what I don't really need to do? Uh, shoot an arrow him, do I? Just go like... He can drop some loot for me. I'll come back for that in a moment. Let's just skirt the perimeter first and see what we can find. It's funny, you know, I get so excited about going on these kinds of raids in the lake. Oh my fucking god! Ah! <laughs> She 
she was dead. She was dead and she fell over backwards onto a mine and not only scared the nipples out of me, blew my nipples off. That's rude. If you were already dead, you shouldn't be able to set off a bloody landmine. Oh my god, where's your head? Now I'm just annoyed about it. I can't see your head, so it's like that. I suppose you can go take on a landmine as well. Oh my goodness gracious gosh, that just about killed me. Not in the game, I think my heart just about stopped for a second and full on leapt out of my chest. I see that rad through the fence as well, so just like that. Two shots to kill him. I love the Dolce so bloody very much. I can't quite see anyone else in there causing me any issues. So I might just like sneaky deek my way in through the fence here. Oh, God, I hate the landmine so much. They scare me. Even though I know I can walk over there and like drape my nutsack over the fuse as much as I please, just knowing that any zombie could wake up at any time and detonate a mine inside me just makes me feel particularly uncomfortable. Wasn't wearing my looting gogs. That's all right though. Put some water inside you. That's the thing, you know, it just takes one Muppet to wake up and walk over towards me. I don't have to see them. They don't have to hit me. They just have to get close enough to find any of these little hubcups of doom. Finally found the doorway into the actual barn just over here where the silos were. It's a bit dark in there, actually. So I might just bang on the old uh, NVGs. Put a bolt through your military helmet. I think there's one over there as well. Can't quite see his noggin, though. Let's just clear out some space. Sneak on through like that. Try not to wake him up. The sneakier DQ we can do this, the better we're going to do. Because let's be honest, we're wearing absolutely zero armor. So if we do actually get into a fight, God, no, I can't see his head. Kind of like, there we go. Perfect. He thought he was being sneaky like a bloody emu. Sticking his head underneath the sand where no one could find him. Turns out Bud doesn't work. I can pick up your cover, move it out of the way, and then shoot you in the face. I'll absolutely do it and enjoy every moment I get leading up to it. Looks like Arlene's been uh, up to her usual tricks. So like a barn full of military guys and she's on her back. Bloody shocker. Oh, it's not Arlene. Maybe it used to be, but she's not anymore. She's been having a couple of drive throughs since then. Hit you with a, a bloody machete. I really like... Shit, I really like this loadout. I didn't actually mean to click there. There we go. That's better. Waste and bolts just because we've got so many of them. Who else wants to die? Doesn't really seem to be any way down into the, um, like the world underneath where the missiles are from up the top. Some bullets and a radiator and some water. Thank you. Try and keep myself cool while I'm out in the desert in the middle of the night. I thought deserts got cold during the night rather than get exceptionally hot. But what do I know? I'm just a Muppet from the south. Um, we're just like, is it just here then? That's the only kind of texture that's different. It's bloody strong. Let's go with the weaker ones first. Ah. Well, while I beat my way through there, it's going to take eight years. I'm going to go through this one instead. Play smart, guys. Not hard. Thank you for showing me the way to go. Oh, God. It's all made out of steel down here as well. I feel like... Oh, there's a Loza. I feel like this is about to get real bloody heckers down here. NVG's on. Headlight off. Shetty's out. Loz. You kind of ruined my rhythm and my flow there. I was rocking and rolling, feeling all stealthy-like. And you come over and take a shot in the face and just take... Grin about it. We've got a gun safe in the security booth, but unfortunately, because this game doesn't work like that, I can't flick this little lever here and open the gate to get to the next area. So I guess we're just going to have to like beat our way through. Oof. Okay, well that's good. Oi, is someone over there? Can you guys, can you guys come help me please? Yeah, there you go. All right, look, you take that side. I take this side. We'll meet in the middle and give ourselves the old Australian handshake. You know what? With the uh, with the tier six steel pickaxe and all the mods inside, it doesn't actually take too long to punt through that stuff. How you doing? All right, you know what? Look, I'll leave you with that. I'm gonna go and invest my time into breaking into this one instead. I have faith in you. I have nothing but faith in you and your green, weird, glowing hands to beat your way through some rock solid iron bars. So you just take care of that one for me. I'll find ourselves some loot over here. Yeah, we'll make a good team. I'm sure I'm going to murder you and betray you and probably send your body into the nether realm before too long. But in the meantime, you know, we should enjoy each other's company. We can have some chats, talk some stories. I don't know what happened to you to cause you to turn into this grotesque whatever the hell you are, but I'm sure there's a story behind it. There we go. That's now open. I'm going to leave that for later and probably forget about it. So when I'm rolling with the eye candy, I can uh, better enjoy my time. I might go with the bottom one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, bud. Look, I didn't mean to punch you in the face just yet. It'll happen eventually, but for the moment, I just want to, you know, you take the top, I'll take the bottom, we'll tag team. Or maybe I'll just like, maybe I'll just do you a favor. Look, you've been, you've been having a bad day. I get it. I understand. You've been being on a thing for so long and getting nowhere with it. There you go. I'll just put you out of your misery. I'll be in there in a second, give you a proper burial. You just leave this to me. I can hear 
I can hear someone beating on like something metal upstairs. So that's now open and that's the way down. Fair enough. I want to quickly go up and check. Maybe like a screamer horde has shown up or something. Or maybe just a screamer. I can't. There we go. Can't get up and over that one. What I'm just kind of worried about. Maybe it's even like a wandering horde or something. Is if they do make it through like the fence on the outside. They're walking into a minefield. Which is going to cause me lots of bloody problems. I mean that would just explode I suppose. Oh, fuck me. Snakes in the grass all over the fucking place. That's what I'm worried about. That's why I wanted to come up and try and just, you know, get rid of these guys before it was too late. Would you guys already make it inside? Holy fuck. I've been going around this whole time and you've just been chilling on the roof. I was not expecting that. I'm getting jump scares up the jump scares up the jump scares. Oh, there's one there. Just wants a peace and quiet, lads. Can you just leave me alone? If old matey Rady 80 did drop through the uh, the roof right, that means there's probably some more stuff up there to be checked out or at least investigated. Here's someone else beating on some shits. There you are. Good shot. Put him down. Dolce wins again. Nope. Nothing else up here. Any other like roaming zombies around that's going to cause you some issues? I guess not. Oh, I see you. I see you. You know what? You know what? I back myself in. Make sure we're crouching. Aim just above the head. Perfect. Good shot, Sunny Jim. All right, let's go back downstairs again. I just want to go up and clear that out so I didn't get, like, surprised later by some radiated dickbag coming up behind me and getting retribution for his little teammate downstairs that I once who punched. Oh, it's such an eventful day. We've barely got anywhere in here yet. Oh, red dots are... Ah, oh, it's a schematic. Never mind. So this is one of the bays, I guess? Or is, oh, it's like a good elevator. It's probably a goods elevator, actually. It's just kind of stuck up in the ceiling at the moment. Let's... Oh, God. Someone has been squelched down there like it's a bloody pack of enemies in a doom level. Remember all those like death traps? Oh shit. Oh shit. Remember all those death traps you get in the old dooms where you, know, you squish a bunch of pinky demons and it was the most satisfying thing in the world? Yeah, I feel like that's what happened in here as well. Right around the circles. Couple shots there. Always got to funnel the zombies. Look, it's not hard to control the AI and get... Look, if you want to fight them in an open area, you do that. But if you get them all in a nice line, so you have one... That was almost a word. If you get all of them in one nice line, so you have just one direction to aim in, it's going to be so much better for you in the long run. Any group for me? No, just some dollar dollaridoos. All right, let's uh, keep on pushing on then. There was a whole, like, office up there I didn't read, but I was going to have a quick little gander up there before I go too much further. Oh, some food behind bulletproof glass. Never fucking mind. I feel like someone should have probably locked some of these doors on their way through. This definitely shouldn't be a place where I can just waltz through. Like, I've got lockpicks on me, and yes, I can't pick doors, which is which is a shame. But you feel like an installation like this may have had some locks, at least somewhere along the road. Put you down. Put you down. God, the crossbow's fun. Your head's stuck in a wall, so I'll just, like, machete your legs instead. One in the leg, one in the ass, and one in the noggin. You're copping it left, right, and center. Take my ball back out of you. No, I can't. So here's like a bunch of loot as well. Cover box, munitions box. You're already dead. No one else really around. God, how much further? I might have to go back and check that office first though. I feel like I'm getting too far away from it. So it was through here. Couple of unlocked doors. Ah, with some, oh, bars on the other side. Probably should have checked that before I went all the way down. Murderize you. Oh, and all your friends as well. Let's go with the uh, XP goals. Get the most of this I can. Uh, crossbow. Do you want to, like, actually exist in my hands, please? Some weird things still happen with this game. Despite it being, you know, a pretty well-rounded game. There's some little glitches here and there. That's okay, though. We can deal with that. Anything this way? Just some more Muppets. That's fine. I don't mind murdering everyone. Come one, come all. You're all going to die in the same way with something going through your face, whether from the back or from the front. Oh, straight through the fucking top. Why not just like beat my way through those bars over there actually and get to that next room? But I'll search this one first. There's nothing really in here at all, so I'll just go check the other one. Every time there's like storage crates, like the one I built for myself outside, every time I come across one of those, I just assume there's nothing in it. And I don't think I've ever found anything actually in those. Ooh, some gun safes though. And one random Jeffrey, three gun safes. Don't bloody mind if I do. That might count as your head there. Yes, it did. Decapitated you, even though you were clipping through the wall like the cheating fuckeroony that you are. Grab you. Nah, wait. Looting dogs. So I wasn't going to use the looting candy just yet, but given there's, what, three gun safes there and then another one back upstairs again, probably not a bad shout. I'll open them all up first, pop the pills and go downstairs, see what we can find very early days. 
Give me that zero. Oh, for goodness sake. Give me the zero, please. I'm burning through my log picks rather quickly. I know I could just be beating it down with the pickaxe anyway, but got the log picks, may as well try and use them. There's the zeros. Nice. Okay. Anything else in here really worth looking at? I don't think so. I'll check the trash for some more. Oh, actually, I can turn you into duct tape now. There we go. Had some glue left over. Always check for more log picks in case you need them later on. Nah, we're all good. All golden. All ready to go. Nice. Except that one. Nothing in it. Okay, let's go back upstairs. We'll start up and we'll work our way down because there is also like all those uh, munitions boxes and stuff down underneath where I just was that I wouldn't mind raiding as well. So through here, back to this one. Loot and gogs on. Eye candy in. Let's rock and roll and see what we can find. Give me something good. Not particularly good. Tier 6 iron spear and a tier 5 piece of shit. I mean, I got an armor plating mod, but that's not really anything to write home about. Run through here, get the first one off the wall. Oh, I am so erect right now. Tier 6, Shetty Boy, and another Iron Breaker for my auger back home. Fucking yes, please. Give me all of that hotness just in and around my face. Oh, yes. Right, I have you. Let's compare. Oh, wait, I need to go actually. Oh, nah, fuck, I'll compare it now. I've got like four minutes of a loot and candy. It's fine. 3151 compared to 28 and 48. So just better again. Just so much better again. You, you, you. Swap you into this one. I know you're kind of fucked up at the moment. That's okay. Just hold on to that for the moment for me, please. You're now fully modded out. Oh, fuck yeah. Just put it inside me. Just put it inside me and shake it all about like you're doing the fucking hokey pokey. Nothing really good in the next two gun saves. The tier four shotgun, tier six hunting rifle, tier four marksman rifle, and an iron crossbow. So nothing really worth writing home about. Oh, I'm so happy about that bloody tier six shady. We're only just into this POI. And I'm already going to call it a rage and throbbing success. And I say both those words with no... Uh, specific underlying reason. Definitely not anything that's happening to me right now. Let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. What else was down here? Like a whole bunch of boxes and shit? Yeah, there was. I'm pretty stacked on the old loot fronts. Like, I mean, I might just even like go, hey, hold this for a tick. I'm not going to box back upstairs. Like, I'm back for you in a moment. I just want to make sure whatever I can find down here, I can take with me. Whether it be a whole fuckload of ammo or another weapon or just nothing. There's some armor to stick all those mods into. I'm okay with whatever you want to give me. I'm already a happy fucking camper. Raided right all the boxes and all the ammo uh, caches. And I did find another tier 6 set of military guys, which is actually better than the tier 6s I'm currently wearing. So, alright, that's good with me. I'll swap you back, go modify, take all of you out of there and swap it over for the new ones. We're finding good stuff. We're finding good stuff, lads. It's a really bloody good time. You, you, no, don't make them green for goodness sake. Purple is always the way to go. Got an extra mod slot, but I've only got like uh, another plating mod or a connector's mod, so I can't fill anything up right now. Uh, put you back on. Now, scrap you, actually. What else have we got here? Got a lot of duct tape and a lot of other stuff. Oh, I'm one shy. What can I get rid of real quick? I might have to run everything back up to the surface nice and quickly. Although, modify you. That one, that one, that one. That'll free up some space. Okay. I've only got 20 seconds left on the looting candy, so I'm not really missing much. I'll run back upstairs, drop this off in the box up there, then come back down for it. Oh, man. A successful bloody raid and we're not even done yet. Imagine what else we might find. Even if we find nothing but polymers and paper for the rest of this joint, I'm still going to be happy going home tonight. Made it back down. Still got plenty of time left in the day. Let's go back to the NVGs, actually. Just, I don't know what I'm coming up against. Everything's loaded and good to go. Oh, we've finally... Oh, Jesus. G'day, love. Um, I can't quite see your head, so I'm going to ruin your days of an, being an adventurer instead. <laughs> Or just whip a bunch of shots. Knee first, then noggin. That's almost the rule these days. But look at that. We found the missiles. I can't quite get in there. So the beam my way in. I don't know what I'm going to find. I feel like... I don't know if there's going to be more loot though. Like four gun safes and all that like ammo and stuff. Seems like an adequate amount of loot for the kind of resistance I've been facing. But that's not really any wrong reason to that. Um, maybe like one of these... Oh, God. <laughs> that's... Yep, okay. These are slightly smaller than some of the other ones we've seen, but I'm sure they'd probably still pack a fair punch. Oh, hey, Shetty, wanna like break yourself in on her skull over here? Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you fucking do. Just feel the singy goodness.
I don't think this ladder leads anywhere, but I kind of want to just go investigate it anyway. Up, up, up we go. Got the cool. I mean, I like how it's been designed. The doors and stuff here are really bloody cool. How strong are you? Reasonably strong, but you do take me right out next to my gyrocopter. I could have just gone that way the first time around. I right, remember the next one's just as strong as well. That's right, making mince meat of it or mince bloody metal with it, I suppose. The sun is rising. All right, let's not beat down that fence though. Just keep it in mind. So we can take that ladder to get out in not very long. That's a spike. I was about to jump on that rocket and take it for a rocket ride. Instead, I'll just ride some of the fins. I miss those old wooden spikes. Like the big thick spikes, the trunk spikes you used to be able to get, they were good times. Yeah, I think most of the looting for this place is done because even though this missile solo is open and ready to be fired, God, they're cutting that close. That's right, right on the cast of not being able to fit out the doors. But hey, I didn't design the place, so whatever. If your factor of safety is zero, then that's up to you. There's a lot of like gas barrels and stuff in these places. So I'm kind of, I'm getting some ideas for later on. Oh, this one's open though. Oh, with a rad fat mama. Let's go. This is like not go anything actually. It's nice and bright now because it's almost uh, sun swap time. Can you make a connection with him, please? I know he's a bit hard to look at. Doesn't mean you can't make an emotional connection with him if you so desire. One. Two. Oh. Didn't die on the second shot. I was expecting it to. I was so cocky with that. I already reloaded. This missile is gone. That's fine. Grab some more gas out of you. And some... Ooh, some lock picks. Thank you very much. And some duct tape. All right. That's fine. I'm finding like semi-useful stuff, so I'm okay with it. I'm still riding the high of the tier six Shetty. Nothing in here either. All the storage chests are empty as always. Got some gas though. And not much else. All right, well, before I go though, like you've left a whole bunch of gas barrels around and I'm just way too trigger happy to let that be a thing for much longer. So, I go like this. Just the one. I was hoping to get some more. There we go. One. Oh God, only one shot did it. I broke, guys. I broke the rocket. Just a little bit. I'm sure it's probably not great for my... Oh, Jesus Christ. You really did go to the moon. Probably not great for my chances of survival blowing up missiles three feet in front of your face. But hey, at least we had a good time doing it, right? Uh, was there anything to blow up in this one as well? There was, but this was my escape route. So I guess I'll just like go back to the top and blow it up from up there. Because you know what? Why wouldn't you stand in front of the missile while you explode it? You know, you could explode it from the safety of your bunker. Or miss a bunch of shots. There you go. I love the new gas barrel explosions, by the way. They brought it in for Alpha 19, but having, like, the, the a can actually, like, blow up and move and disappear and, like, actually be its own little kind of canister rocket, so bloody cool. You're empty. You are full of stuff. There is a screamer getting all sorts of mad about it. I see you. Missed it? Nope, got it that time. Did you call any friends? Don't think so. Think we're good. Search the sedan just in case. Nah, nothing. All right, let's go home. You know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling like pushing my luck, which is always a good idea when you're as much of a clown as I am. You can strap a red nose and put giant flipper feet on me and I'll be less of a clown than I am every other given day. But there's Higashi Medical right there with a helipad on top. And I haven't been to Higashi Medical before. Well, I mean, I have a very long time ago, but in this playthrough, I haven't. So that's gonna have a whole bunch of loot just up there on that roof ready and waiting for me to come and relieve it of that burden of lootable goodness. So I feel like I'm gonna get real buddy cheeky with it. Jesus, I'm coming in a real weird trajectory here. Let's just like bail out at the last moment. That'll do. And take everything back inside. Once I got that all freed up, I think I might even go have a cheeky little chin wag over Higashi, go land on that helipad, probably find a whole bunch of zombies, and more importantly, open up some even more loot. I'm getting greedy. You shouldn't bloody get greedy, Josh, because getting greedy is always a great way to get railed. But in this instance, I'm going for it. It's silly, it's dumb, it's a horrible idea, but I can pull this off, who knows what I might come away with. I'm just kind of nervous and waiting for what's gonna spawn up here with me. There's the loot there on that little, uh thing just next to me. Here we go. Just like drop it in there. <laughs> no one woke up. No one woke up because they spawned in after I'd already landed my gyro. So just like, oh, uh, excuse me. How about bloody no, mate? How about you just bloody sit down and wait your turn? I was going to come around and give all of you a nice clean soldier's death like you had your blade frozen in the forest and gladiator. But instead, you had to wake up and ruin everybody's day. 
I just want to clear the whole rooftop first. I don't really remember Higashi very well. Higashi's one of those... Oh, good day, mates. One of those POIs I just don't really raid very often, so... I'm not really fully up to scratch on the layout of it, so I'm kind of running in here a little bit blind. Uh, there is glass on the top of that, but it's probably one of those, um, like the glass traps. G'day, mates. Okay, so let's see. Now they've learned. Now they've learned. Before, with all made upstairs, he wanted to try and be different. He wanted to try and make a difference in his life, and he stood up to be counted, and all he got to do was count the shots to his face. Just check up on the loot platform, see if there's anyone else waiting for me. Doesn't really look like it. I'm gonna have to take some time to unlock some of these things. There's also like a loot bag from a zombie I killed down that way somewhere. There was. I didn't pick it up. Up over the top. Yep, there it is. I might just grab that before it despawns because you never bloody know. Oh. It's like a guttural response. It's like waves of pleasure emanating from the center of my chest out through all my extremities whenever I see a tier six auto shotgun. Now I sold the tier six pumpy boy because he was fucking worthless, but the tier six auto might actually be worth its weight in gold. Those snapshots are getting better and better. Like just because I now have like utter faith, I hear someone, utter faith in the dolch shot, the shit house. I kind of back myself in more than I probably should, given I am apparently a heck of fucking shit shot every other time. There we go. Just so search the rest of this place in case I did miss something. Up to the top, nothing up here. All right, I think we're pretty good. Let's go open up all those boxes, pop a candy, and enjoy what we find. We're pretty much ready to go. So loot and candy is in. Just got, oh, there's another box there. Actually, it's going to start in this little, like, cabin over here. Another nail gun, because there's a couple of working stiffs boxes. Tier 4 August and steel, and another lockpick. So remember what I was saying before about how I really, I get really excited about going on raids in the late game because the chances of getting really good loot are bloody high. This is what I was talking about. Like you wouldn't really expect to find a tier six auto shotgun at any other time other than this late into the game at this kind of game stage. So the prospect of finding like really good, really useful stuff is just a whole lot for me. Break that glass on the way through just because we can. You're empty. Just kind of running the circle just to make sure that we've uh, scooped up everything we can on the way through. Nice. Okay, up to the loot area. Everything's unlocked. Ready to go. Even though love equipment boxes are almost always a disappointment, I'll raid them anyway. So far, nothing. I'll save the big boxes till last. Some gunpowder, some uh, vitamins, some other non-discriminate pills. Lots of gunpowder, weirdly. Okay, up to the big boys. Reinforced chests. Ooh, some tier six armor, some mods. Thank you very much. And the hardened chests. Tier six Terry, some more armor, some frock at rags, some stuff to sell. Don't mind if I do. That's a pretty bloody good haul. <sighs> what a day. What a good loot day. Coming into the horde. It means the horde's going to be bloody awful for me, but you know what? Whatever. I don't bloody care a pinch. Up, 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 up. There you go, like I'm smacking my dick around, begging for it to get a rise. My gyrocopter got there in the end as well. Put all of you into the box. That is a good bloody day. That is super bloody exciting. Plus the tier six shetty. Man, I can and the better gloves as well. I came out of that bloody peachy keen. Let's uh, get downstairs. My forges have stopped, which means you have a whole lot of stuff in you. Thank you very much. Have some more fuel. What am I going to be short on now, actually? I've got lots of brass. That's a whole lot of brass. I've spent like th tens of thousands of dollars on it, but that seems fair enough to me. So I now have more bullet casings than tips, I think. I think so. What have I got? I've got tens of thousands of bloody gunpowder. And that's without even using my like bolt crafting gunpowder that I completely forgot that I could do. So I got 2,100 bullet tips and like 2,000 bullet casings. So I might just take all of you real fast and go and quickly make 9mm in you. Might need some gunpowder, you dickbag. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Pay attention for once in your life. You. Make. No, just like a thousand in you. Yes, please. 50 minutes. Make that less than that. 45. Some myself five minutes on that one. And make the other uh, thousand or so in this one. We're looking good. We're looking good for Horde Night. Just going to put in enough uh, bullet tips and casings from the like thousand-ish rounds of ammo once that's done. Because even though I have a whole bloody lot, we're going to be spending a whole bunch of that in the Horde Night that is none too far away. And it is now, what, half past two. So tomorrow is Horde Night. 
And I, oh, actually, I need to go downstairs. The first thing I need to do tomorrow is go and make sure I steal up that uh, those wedge chips that I replaced. I probably don't have time to do a whole lot. I don't think I'm really expecting to do a whole lot. Might have a cheeky gander around so we can find some bookstores or something like that. Just go investigate some of the new towns. Nothing big, nothing distracting. I need to be back here at like 8.30, not a moment later, making sure I am ready and waiting for whatever the world is going to throw at me. But I'm going to have to take on whatever the world is going to throw at me in the next episode episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons on patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter but i'll talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one